Welcome back to the North. Today we're doing a standard EV test that I'm sure you've seen a thousand times before. Okay, maybe not this time. Can it drive on a frozen lake? Well, of course, why not? Anyone who's been on a lake in a car has seen 95 Grand Ams and rusted out rear wheel drive sedans make it. So why couldn't an EV? But we're not just gonna drive around on a frozen lake and make lame jokes about Teslas walking on water. While driving on a lake is pretty awesome and crazy in itself, since many of you have never even seen a frozen lake before, true northerners will scoff and say, big whoop. So let's take this Tesla to another level of testing for winter life and use it as an ice fishing house and ice fish in it. But first, a quick 2000s rock techno montage of driving on the lake. Sorry, I've been watching lots of action movies with montages lately. Today we're doing one of the most up north things that you can do, and that's ice fishing. Alright. Let's try to do some fishing. We got him. Oh, it's a monster. <laughs> it's a world record. Tesla perch right there. The size of it. Here. Oh, let's get you closer. Look at this. Monster. Oh my god, I barely carry it. Oh, it's a monster. It's a monster. Monster. Back in you go. Welcome to ice fishing in Malax. Tesla style. Tesla's pretty nice, not gonna lie. First struggle you're gonna probably have is getting out on the ice. If there isn't a road plot on the ice, you're gonna have trouble getting out of here. Tesla's have very low ground clearance, so if you don't have a road, you're not making it out. But if there's a road, then you're good. Great thing is I'm protected from the wind. I've got the wind coming this way today, so I'm very well protected. I feel really great. The sunshine feels great on my face, even though it's probably four or five degrees out here right now. Um, got the seat warmers on. God, that's that's probably really where it's at. Um, I can play around. I've been playing around with the seat adjustments a little bit. I'm not even sure if you can hear me. Um, oh, I just had a bite there. I should pay attention. Another good thing is you can still catch fish, still get bites. Just gotta not miss them. Um, this isn't bad. I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm jigging. I'm looking for fish. It's very comfortable. Um, I keep going on and off with my gloves. The hands are still a little bit cold, but the nice thing is I can reach right in here. I got the heated steering wheel on. And so that's been a lifesaver for me out here. Again, being pretty cold out. Got my bait, tackle, ice scoop. I've still had to scoop out my ice probably every 10 minutes or so. Uh, it's still pretty cold and this isn't quite protecting it. The heat from the car is not enough to get the ice hole open. Um, God, what else is there? Things that aren't that great, it's not the most comfortable position to sit in, especially for a taller fellow like me. You can see I'm scrunched down a little bit, but it's still very manageable. I don't know, I've got it pretty much made in the shade here. This is actually not, not too bad. Uh, we just need some ice fishing mode stuff here, Elon. Um, that would be nice. We are catching a lot of little perch so far, hoping to get into some walleye here. 
this is probably a good little ice hole that you could sit in here for half a day, maybe even a full day if you got your battery up to full power before you came out here. This is what I would call my active fishing mode. Leaning forward for that bite, looking at that fish on the bottom, trying to entice him to come up and get it. Or, you can kind of go into passive mode. Ugh. This is way more comfortable. You know, this isn't so bad at all. Got him. Got him in relaxed mode. Baby little perch. You know it takes a lot more skill to catch the little ones, right? Nice little snowmobile action. We're just gonna take it nice and easy now. Just a little bobber fishing. A little dead stick. See if anything bites on that. For now, I'm just going to kind of lay back and enjoy the nice fire and the nice view. Oh, this is nice. Is this as nice as an ice house? Absolutely not. Does it work in a pinch? Yeah, I would say it does. Oh, there we go. Enjoying some ice fishing in the Tesla. Got some ice fishing in Malax videos going on. I've got my own little beverage here. You can see I've got the legs fully in the car, stretched out. I've got the seat pretty reclined. It's feeling really good. And we're just sitting here, jigging the bobber every now and then. Pretty lazy fishing. Oh, looks like we might have had a little bite. And don't forget, you need to keep an eye on your tip-ups if you got them set up. So let's do that here. Set that down, take a look. We're in the lake. Oh, I wonder where my, how my tip-up is doing. Let's just check the cameras. And look at that, flag is still down, no bites. So, yet another amazing feature on why Teslas are clearly built to go ice fishing, clearly. This is not too bad if you're really desperate and really in a pinch to do some ice fishing and you got no other means to do it but a Tesla. Nothing going on there. Let's check the tip up action. Oh, fish on, we got a bite. Fish on, tip up up, let's go! Ooh, we got a we got a huge one, boys and girls. Look at that. Giant. Another monster. It's okay. Big boys are moving in later tonight. Another huge monster out here on Mille Lacs in the Tesla ice fishing. Just giant. Can barely fit it in the camera here. One of these bad boys really helps. Fits perfect. Now we just need some third party seller to make some stuff. Some ice fishing Tesla stuff. Think it'll happen? Let's make it happen. And perhaps in the near future, EVs could power your whole ice house and your toys. Imagine not having to bring propane tanks, gas generators, and 12 volt batteries when you can run your heat, lights, TV, ice auger, etc., all off of your car slash truck battery. You could even charge a snowmobile or other toys off of your car battery someday. So Tesla, Rivian, et al., if you're watching and looking for someone to test out some hardy EVs in the real world, I may know someone who would be especially happy to help. Well, it's starting to get dark out. The day is coming to an end. It's time to move things inside and do some night fishing inside this time. I'm not gonna try to hassle with that in the Tesla here. But you can see, we did a little ice fishing with the Tesla today. Bet you didn't think you could do that. I didn't really think you could either. Caught a lot of fish, no keepers. If we had any keepers, we would have thrown them in the frunk. That would have been a lot of fun. Maybe we do this for every electric vehicle I try out and put it through the ice fishing test. Clearly, everybody's going to want to know how their Polestar, how their Mach-E, 
how their electric Hummer is going to perform out in the ice? Um, it's a really important question. Fishing inside the Tesla, was it the greatest thing in the world? No. But was it the worst? Absolutely not. It was a lot of fun. It was comfortable. I was warm. I know all of you are just dying to come do this. Everyone from Texas, California, Florida, you're all making road trips up here this winter to do this, aren't you? Yeah, I didn't think so. It was a, an adventure that nobody asked for. A little Model 3 ice fishing. Uh, maybe we make this an annual thing. Make it a little fishing tournament of some sort. Uh, if you don't know, there is a very popular fish up here called a muskie. So maybe if we catch one of those, we, ha we have to rename it the Elon Muskie. We'll call it the Elon Muskie tournament. Maybe we should have a big Eli Muskie Tesla tournament up here. That'd be a lot of fun. Maybe in the summer, though. If you have any ideas for any of the crazy adventures, or if you want to go ice fishing with me in my Tesla, just let me know. Leave a comment below. Otherwise, we'll see you up north.